Good morning, friends, and glad again to be in your space, living life the way God wants it, so that we can enjoy and fulfill purpose the way God has ordained it. Let's pray this morning. Father, we want to thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your love. And thank you that you have said it to all. We should seek your approval. And Lord, please, your approval, we ask for this morning. Grace to walk in your will. We receive this morning in the name of Jesus. Please, Lord, guide us today. Order our steps and let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, I'm glad again to be here and I'm really grateful to God for life. And I believe God that God will keep us and keep keeping us. In Jesus' name. Friends, remember our test is Luke 6, 26 to 26. And today we will zero in on something that can change a man. In 1 Samuel 15, if you read from 16 to 23, because it's a long uh, talk, I'm sure you know the story, where God sent King Saul on a vision, on an errand to go wipe out the enemy. But he came back with what God said he should destroy. And when he was asked, why didn't you do what God asked you to do? He said, the people. Friends, I've noticed something. A lot of us in the midst of impressing friends, families, and folks, we do things that we end up destroying our tomorrow. Saw so that they did it for the people, and the same people rejected him from being their king later. And his dynasty was destroyed because he did something to satisfy the people. I've had many instances that people had to mention to me. They made me do it. And when you had the people that made me say, don't mind him, oh. we did not so. Oh. He's the one that wants to do it, so oh. they will still just deny you. But there is something that I like to know today. Friends, if you remain in the will of God for you, obeying God, doing what He wants you to do, God will never deny you. You see, the Bible says in Jeremiah 17, 9, it says, man, the wickedness, the heart of man is desperately wicked. Who can tell? Friends, we be with around you when things are good. Go and ask the prodigal son. In Luke 15, he believed from verse 13. The moment his money finished, those people disappear. Friends, stay where God puts you. I will read this to you, and I want you to. I'm reading from 1 John chapter 2 and from verse 15. 1 John 2 from 15, and it says, I'm reading Amplified Version still. It says, Do not love the world of sin that opposes God and his precepts, nor the things that are in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lost and the sensual craving of the flesh and the loss and the longing of the eyes and the boastful pride, pretentious confidence in one's resources or the stability of earthly things, these do not come from God the Father, but are from the world. Now, 17, the last verse I'm reading. The world is passing away with its loss, the shameful pursuit and ungodly longing, but the one who does the will of God and carries out his purpose lives forever. Friends, the truth about it is that this life is very funny. A guy one day said to his wife, he said, see, I've worked so hard in my life and the doctor said he's going to die and that he you knows that the wife will need things to live life. So he said to the wife, when I die, please share our wealth into two, bury up with me and live on the rest half. The wife said, no problem. So when the guy died, the wife, the friend of the wife had been asking the wife, how are you going to do it? He said, half of everything he has. So, so when they finished burying the guy, the son wanted to ask the wife, how did you do it? How did you send half of the thing so that I can have something after life since he has worked out on her? The wife said, I wrote him a check. He said, I don't understand. So he calculated everything and wrote a check. When he gets to heaven, he should cash the check. Friend, there's no bank in heaven to cash the check. So live your life here to please God. Every other thing will go away. I'll see you again tomorrow. God bless you.